Well, this weekend, the Denver Center of the Performing Arts welcomes The Illusionist live from Broadway. But before they can take the stage at the Buell Theater, they made a stop in Fort Collins and performed for a very special audience. Our Dylan Thomas live in Fort Collins. And I, Dylan, I love this. This performance was for fans who really can't make it to the theater. Dominic, there's a lot of fans of Illusions here at Poudre Valley Hospital in Fort Collins, but due to their current condition, they're unable to make tonight and tomorrow's show. So the Illusionists brought their performance here to the hospital to help these patients' worries of their lives disappear. They're some of the greatest illusionists alive. With two stops in Colorado this week, the illusionists wanted to make sure everyone had a chance to experience their show. An optical illusion is something you think is happening, but it's not. A little bit like Brexit back in the UK. A mix of comedy. If you clap on your own, someone's going to throw you a fish, Mike, OK? And illusions served for the perfect distraction from reality for those at Poudre Valley Hospital's inpatient rehabilitation unit. The awe and astonishment is just it's very a good satisfaction for me. Oh. Wow. Illusionist Sabine Van Diemen and Paul DeBeck said performing for such a small group was rewarding yet intimidating. There's nowhere to hide when you when you come and perform for, for a small group like this. I was very nervous. <laughs> Heidi has signed her name on this $10 bill. But seeing the patient's reactions. Could it be your money? It is a banana. Made it all worth it. No way. No way is next to Sweden. <laughs> I don't know how the hell he did that. Mike Steven is recovering from knee replacement surgery. I'm literally four feet away and I couldn't see a slip of hand. That was pretty impressive. While the Broadway production may be bigger and brighter, performing for these patients was the highlight for these illusionists. To take people's mind off that for even five minutes is very nice. It's very, gives me a good feeling and I hope it gives them a good feeling. I know those patients were excited to see the show, but if you want to see the show and you live up here in Fort Collins, they're in town tonight and tomorrow at the Lincoln Center, which is just north of campus. And then this weekend, they're heading to the Denver Center of Performing Arts at the Buell Theater. Head to our website, cbsdenver.com, for more information on those shows. Live in Fort Collins, Dylan Thomas, covering Colorado First. Very cool, Dylan. Thank you.